What's up guys, it's John. Real quick, I'm going to show you guys my streaming settings for Twitch and YouTube and Hitbox and StreamMe. Um, so you guys can have uh, good quality streams. Um, I'd say these are the best settings all around for um, just because of how dynamic they are. Because if you have your bitrate set really high, then people are going to come into your stream and complain that they can't watch because it's always buffering. And um, if you have it too low, it's going to look like trash, so no one's going to watch it anyways. And I feel like this is the best compromise. So right here I have enforced streaming service encoder settings, and my output is scaled to 720p. My bitrate is 3500, my buffer size is 4000, of course I use a custom buffer size. Keyframe interval is 2 for live streaming. Um, and I use CBR. This uh, depends on how good your CPU is. Um, yeah. Audio is at 44.1 kilohertz and then my frame rate is 48 frames per second which is an odd number but I figure it's good because it's in between 30 and in between 60 or in between 30 and 60. And then I use the best filter um, and the resolution is obviously downscaled to 720p. Um, I'd say these settings are good for 720 60fps. Um, I don't know why I don't have it at 60fps actually. I'll probably change that right now. But yeah, 720 60fps or 1080 30fps, I'd say these settings are good for. Um, you could probably try a 1080 60fps, but it probably won't be that good uh, quality of a video. And then my audio bit rates are all 128, and I feel if you go lower than 128, the audio becomes disgusting. So do not go below 128 bit rate on the audio. And here's a look at how it, how it will look. Here's a look at how it will look, yeah, makes sense, makes sense. So yeah, the video looks good, turning around and stuff, it's not fuzzy. Um, these are with the exact settings that I just showed you. So hope you enjoyed this video, hope it helped, and goodbye.